give glory to the name of Lord Jesus because through him, God included you in. What's going on church fam? Welcome back to Everyday Church Life. I pray everybody is having a wonderful day. So today we're going to be talking about the blood of Lord Jesus. In Matthew 26 verse 28, it says, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. How many of you have been in situations that when you look back over your life, you realize you shouldn't have made it through? All odds were stacked against you. People talked about you. People did things to you. And stuff seemed like it didn't work in your favor. But yet you're here today. Well, I have been in quite a few situations like that. I remember one time, me and my homeboy, we was walking and we was going to use a computer because we was filling out job applications. And so it was getting kind of late and my homeboy, he was about to walk back home. And before we was getting ready to walk, my mom told me, she said, don't go outside at night because the night has no eye. And she said, but if you do got to walk, take Lord Jesus with you. And so my mom prayed. She prayed for us and stuff like that. And so we began to walk. Now, my mom, she always used to get at me about staying outside too late. <laughs> Even, you know, as I'm getting older, my mom would say, be careful when you're outside at night. And of course... I didn't listen, but this particular night, I wish I would have listened. So as me and my friend began to walk back, we see these three guys walking up. And so I'm already kind of looking like, yo, these guys look suspicious. So my homeboy, he started to walk and I started to turn around to go back to where I was living at at the time. And my homeboy, he had called me and he said, yo, man, these guys look weird, man. You know them? I said, nah, I never seen them before. So my homeboy, he was about to get ready to walk back with me. Just to, you know, let them guys get time to go on about their business. So when they get beside us, they was like, yo, uh, one of y'all got a cigarette? And I was like, nah, we don't got a cigarette. So I try to keep it moving. Then my homeboy, he started saying, nah, you can get a cigarette from down that way. And then all of a sudden, boom, they pulled a gun out on me. So to make a long story short, we got robbed. <laughs> we got robbed. And I just remember the words that my mom said. She said, take Lord Jesus with you. So as the situation was happening, I started praying. I said, dear Heavenly Father, if you allow me to get out of this situation, in the name of Lord Jesus, I won't walk outside at night no more. Not like this. And then the guys, they started threading our lives. They tried to make us walk with them. And, you know, one of the guys was saying, hey, um, shoot this dude, shoot this dude. You know what I'm saying? And here's the craziest part about it. I thank God that guy didn't have the gun because this particular dude was hot-headed. He was ready to just... Go ahead and get rid of the witnesses type vibe. You know what I'm saying? But the guy that had the gun, he he was like, <laughs> he said, he said, man, y'all lucky tonight. Y'all lucky that I'm the one who holding the gun. Because if any one of these guys would have had it, y'all would have been finished. And so they end up leaving us. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know that was the prayer of my mom. See, we all have been in situations because we didn't listen. It ended up bad and it could have been worse. But the reason why it didn't go bad because we're covered by the blood of Jesus. But when you continue to disobey instructions, the reason why it didn't go bad for you because you got a praying mama. You got a praying grandma. You got a praying dad. Somebody is praying for you on your behalf. So, therefore, grace and mercy is what empowers the blood of Lord Jesus Christ over our lives. See, 
because you got somebody praying for you. Let's just thank God for including us in. God included you in because somebody was praying on your behalf. That's why you were covered by the blood of Lord Jesus. There's some situations that should have worked against us. But when you look back over your life and you recognize those situations that should have took you out, that's because God included you in. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for including me in. When I turned my back on you, when I was disobedient, but because of your grace and mercy, because of Lord Jesus, that's why I'm able to give your name glory today. That's why I got a testimony today. Because those situations should have took me out. It's a lot of stuff that should have took us out. The stuff that we couldn't see. See, something happens in the spiritual realm when you got somebody praying for you. In Lamentations 3, verse 22, it says, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. See, the compassion of Lord Jesus for our lives fails not. That's the power of the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. And it's through his mercy, it's through his grace, it's through his faithfulness, it's through his love that God will include us in his promises, his will, and he will give our life purpose and meaning the more we turn to him, the more we walk in uprightness, the more we remain faithful, the more we trust in the heavenly father. But we got to believe in Lord Jesus. I remember reading in the scripture when Pilate asked the people, he said, who blood will this be on? And the scripture went on to say in Matthew 27, verse 24 through 25, when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answer all the people and said, his blood be on us and on our children. See, one of the things I recognize that's very significant in that scripture, and I spoke about this before, is that even Pilate knew that Lord Jesus was innocent. Even Pilate knew. And guess what? The people knew too. But, what I recognized in that scripture is they said his blood be on us and our children. See, that's what grace and mercy looks like. When you don't deserve something, but yet you receive it anyway. See, they didn't deserve the blood of Lord Jesus. They didn't appreciate the stuff he did while he was here on earth. But because of grace and mercy, they was covered by the blood anyway because they spoke it over their life. And how I know it was grace and mercy because when Lord Jesus was on the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. See, God included us in anyway. And when you get to a place of believing in the truth of Lord Jesus, you shall be saved. That's why I'm grateful for the patience of God as well. Because we get to receive something that we don't even deserve. See, oh, see obedience is what moves the hand of God. 
That's what moves the hand of God. But when we're disobedient to the instructions of God, that's what calls strife in our life. That's what calls torment. That's what causes us to fall victim of the snares that the enemy has set before us. But thank God, praise Lord Jesus for the blood. Because if it wasn't for grace and mercy, we wouldn't be included in. God called us back to his eternal glory through Lord Jesus. That's the power of grace and mercy. And when you continue to live a certain way, the reason why you're still here is because God woke you up this morning. God ain't finished with you yet. He's still doing a mighty work in you because of the blood of Lord Jesus. And, he, and it's his grace and mercy that empowers that. It's a lot of stuff we don't deserve. But here we are today, even making this video. Let's cherish these moments. Let's give the Heavenly Father all that we have to offer. Let's believe in Lord Jesus. For that's the completion of our work. When we believe. So today I pray that you allow Lord Jesus to be in your life. Let the blood of Lord Jesus cover you. Let his authority reign upon you so that you may have confidence to speak against what's evil, so that you may gain your confidence through Christ and find new identity. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for including me in your will, your plan, your purpose, everything that you have for us, dear Heavenly Father, because the words say, Lord Jesus came so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. So I thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for including me in because of your grace and mercy that you have showed toward us the heavenly father let your will be done not ours let us glorify your name and give you the highest praise hallelujah i'm grateful for you dear heavenly father and may you continue to move in our life like never before may we wait upon the lord so that we may renew our strength dear heavenly father may you replenish our soul may you give us a new mindset may you clean our spirit and give us a clean spirit dear heavenly father may you renew our heart and turn it back toward you the heavenly father in the proper way let us keep you first at all times let us acknowledge you in all our ways so that you may direct our path the heavenly father because it's through you as we have faith in lord jesus that give our life purpose and meaning thank you the heavenly father because you included all of us to be a part of your kingdom when Lord Jesus laid his life down. That's how much you love the world. God loves you. He wants the best for you. So let the blood of Lord Jesus cover your life so he can remember you in the day of judgment. That's the lamb's blood. That's around the doorpost. So when Lord Jesus knock at the door of your heart, let him in. Because that's how God will remember you in the day of judgment. The lamb's blood. God included you in. So allow Lord Jesus to come into your heart. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.